mantem jumedie srunkubi akosu ama ene Ghana School of Law. Sa en shisheye watu ni di re akoto memorial lecture. A enono eye e chetre a wode e kai chiyame akoto. Se oman fo enim MPP abako sem ene e huon sen kanye ene sedye ye kan gana emra kebi mamin kebi ene empuntu a obeti asiye ye pa na eno ene namso ama otunfo o sey tutu a otosu minu ope mswa wade atu e jase se wo yinu se life patron a wano ena wababe jine mu anase ye kan SRC e wo suku a hudwa Ghana School of Law noa na chese wababe ye life patron e de ama wo munti wa shada a ye sa lecha yi se debe wama fo e beti me e hunu se de gana ye mra se uko koto wonsen nse mwa ni nina emu no wadane di Attorney General and Minister for Justice, a year on Munyan for lawyer, Godfred, Yabu Adame Edin Senwe Tuja, Ewa Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Baby Ayatun is a great war, Emra, a year Ghana School of Law, Womo Enshi Shaya, Omo Yebe and Fia Dun Sien, the friend Ray Akoto lectures, no, Omo Nebashi Shaya, so Ewa Hanu Mamu Tu Amosa Frena or Kasa, Nenu Enwa Chira Se, Emre Bia Chema, Enye Me Bisi Si Yanenye, Nese Siya Diye, Nye Fren Se Rule of Law, no, Eye Juma, Enye, Enye Ma Ebeti Ma Bua, Wobi Bia. One lesson to be drawn from the fact of the Akutu case is that an ordinary person or one blogging to the masses is larger than the receiving end of the law that we enact and are most affected by the adverse consequences thereof. It becomes self evident that in building a society upon the rule of law, we must be guided by the effect of laws and systems we put in place on the ordinary people and not only the high and mighty or a specific class that we target. In quite an realistically powerful way, the case of Akoto and Seminaries teaches us to be mindful of the collective good of the laws that we enact as a nation, as all facets of society will be affected by the application of the law. It is not for nothing that Akoto and Seminaries occupy a prominent place in the scheme of Ghana's constitutional development. A cocktail of factors, as is often the case in most life minds of our courts, has collaborated to place that case on a pedestal in my situation akin to the events that have become characterized as matters in June 30. Firstly, the gallantry, bravery, principle, and resilience has already been paid by His Excellency the President in the speech last year, ought to be fully recognized and appreciated. Former Speaker of Parliament, Right Reverend Professor Mike Okwe, and so Obekasa was heard you media say, and I watched her say, well, no put a sign your money, see, you know, a yadia, and a neat chim pa, no chim say. What constituted prejudicial was the bona fide interpretation of the president alone. It was under this act that Balfour or said, I could do chief linguists and others were taken. Dr. J.B. Dampa applied to the High Court for release of the detainees under the Habeas Corpus Act, that is, bring the body. This was promptly denied by the High Court. Dr. Dampa then proceeded to the Supreme Court to test and challenge the constitutionality of the PDA itself. He argued, among other things, that the Supreme Court was bound to inquire into the veracity of the alleged grounds in the detention order by virtue of the Habeas Corpus Act 1860. Ne kra kra na saa dwuma die kasie na was a chief justice of the republic of ghana his lordship justice eni jebua ebe pia se nenso bibinti wantime ama ema eye appeal court judge sir dennis ejei ene be jina na nemu emra wo kasa ene ono so e kire nsemu se ba for us say akoto is being celebrated today and this is the 16th occasion he was a chief who reigned for decades and he was a statesman and he fought against oppression and tyranny. Bafo Osei Akuto, a senior member to Asante Hine, could have withdrawn from all other activities and concentrated on his chiefly activities. But he saw the need to fight for the vulnerable. Bafo Osei Akuto is celebrated as a statesman by the fact that he exhibited great wisdom and objectivity in dealing with important public issues. He spoke against violations of fundamental human rights 
and freedoms, and at the same time, sought to promote principles of rule of law.